What are some indications that you may be dealing with hormonal imbalance? We'll discuss three different symptoms and naturally recovery with herbs. So the first symptom I want to talk about is weight gain. If you are a person that eats really healthy and you are exercising, but you're still not able to lose weight, it can be due to some factors like the thyroid. The thyroid has many functions, including regulating our metabolism and managing our weight gain, also our development and our growth. And so if you have an imbalance in the thyroid, it can be seen as weight gain. Another indicator could be estrogen. Estrogen has many different functions again, and it also deals with gaining body weight, the density of our bones, and also building muscle strength. So it is a very important hormone, but if you have excess amounts of estrogen, it may be seen as weight gain as well. So in those instances, you really want to focus on herbs that are going to help regulate the thyroid hormones and also get rid of some excess estrogen if that's what you're dealing with. The next symptom we're going to talk about is acne. So acne does have many different causes. It's very common to have hormonal acne, especially if you have acne that is cystic or underneath the skin. And if you have acne that comes at certain, certain times of the month, you know, maybe before menstruation, or you may be noticing when you eat certain foods, you may have breakouts as well. So I noticed that I would always get breakouts in the same place and I would get it before my period. And that's not something that you have to struggle with. You can because you already are aware of how your body reacts and the misalignment that you have of the different hormones. And then you can work on regulating those so you don't have those issues anymore. More, more so than what you put on your skin is about what you're eating when you're dealing with acne. So you definitely want to take a holistic approach and not just worry about the products that you put on your skin, but also worry about regulating your hormones. Hormones are so very much important when it comes to the skin. Actually, the androgens are what is really the cause of acne, whether it is, you know, making your skin more oily or just clogging um, the pores and leading to acne as well comes to symptoms, any little thing, whether it's bumps on the skin or on the face or it's on the body or any place else, all of those things are symptoms or indicators that something's wrong. All the different organs in the body don't just show problems right where they are or where they're located, but they show problems all throughout the body, all throughout the skin. And so if you have, you know, bags under your eyes, we know that that has to do with the kidneys and the water retention. And you'll see like, you know, the fluid um, building up underneath these pockets right under your eyes. And so it's like that with all different organs. And there's actually something called face mapping. So depending on where anything is happening on your skin, whether it's acne, um, discoloration or swelling or a rash, it's indicative of a certain part inside your body that is imbalanced. So that may be something that you want to look into as well. If you're constantly having battling acne on a certain part of your skin, you want to check that out because it's telling you about a certain part of your body. So for me, I talked about my story about uh, my reproductive issues that I was having. So I always had acne right around this jawline. Um, I would always eat lots of sweets. And so I would have acne like right around um, my mouth as well um, with the sweets. So there's different parts of your body. And so there's different part of your body that shows in different areas of the body on the skin. And so you really want to be mindful of it. Don't just look at anything as small. Every single thing should be taken into account and is indicative of your internal health. And then the last symptom is one that you can probably guess, and that's going to be PMS or mood swings. I do want to mention this because this is something, again, that it's not normal. It's not supposed to happen every time you're in your period. You're not supposed to be in a bad mood every time you're in your period. Um, actually, it can just be, you know, pretty much normal, but with menstruation. And so if you're noticing that you're having these mood swings or you feel down or depressed, or if you're just really angry and irritable, then that's something that can be addressed with, again, eating. You really want to be careful of the things that you eat right before your period and during your period or your moon cycle. You know, you want to eat just as we eat seasonally. You want to change your diet when you know that you are going to be menstruating. It's very important. 
uh, and then also incorporating different herbs in there to, you know, help to settle the nerves if it's, you know, with the use of nervines or also helping to strengthen the reproductive system right before you have a period and then also making sure that your hormone levels are where they need to be. All right, so this was just a short little informative video about uh, the hormones and how they can play different parts of your life. So if you have any of those symptoms, you might want to look a little bit further into each of these things that I mentioned in today's video. I do have a new section on my website. You can go to herhealthyhome.co slash learn and you can learn about the different systems of the body and some of the different herbs that you can use. And for some herbs, you can even click on it and go to a blog post that I have talking a little bit more about the herb and how to use it. Okay, so I just want to share these resources with you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.